Hey guys, so welcome back to another Falcons Reflections, you know, my pseudo review slash reflections on whatever games I did a walkthrough on. So today we are getting into Solstice, I think that's the way you pronounce it, that's how I think it sounds usually whenever I was playing the game, and um, man, this was a really fun game to play. I kind of wish I did do face cam for it. I was originally going to, but I decided that I was just going to stick to one game per month that I do a face cam for if it comes to that. And obviously the game ended up being Metroid Prime, but this game was really a lot of fun. I really enjoy hack and slash, like action RPG type games like this. And the setting and all of that was all really cool. And um, I really think I really think it was better than... Then Bayonetta in some points because Bayonetta, I'm really used to playing Bayonetta. I've already played Bayonetta one and two, so this one when I played Bayonetta three, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm used to this one and all of that. But with this game, it was really like, um, it was really really cool. Like I don't, these guys aren't really like the, the company is the company and the game developer. They're not like well known as much as. The people that made um, Bayonetta 3, like Platinum Games, because they're, they're known for making a lot of action RPG hack and slash games like Nier Automata. That's another game I really love. One day I might do a playthrough on it, but I don't think I will. Not right now. But uh, back to this game, I'll say that it started off really slow. I think the first um, the first couple of recordings, I'll say up until we met um, Donovan and got on all of that. All of the rest, everything before that was just really like slow feel like it dragged on a little bit. She was still getting powers, abilities. You know, you're still upgrading loots and stuff, loots abilities and stuff like that. So it took some time to get used to. But once it got out of that first gear and then we fought those two um, other Chimera that transcended. I um, forgot their names, Jared and I think it was Armina. I think that's what her name was. That's when the game really picked up. Even the stuff that happened like in this boss fight with Donovan and his shade. But... Um, but getting into the shade and all of the story stuff, the story is really, it's really interesting how they get their abilities and stuff like that. Like, you know, every, every chimera has their shade and, you know, chimeras, they rather than, you know, trend, rather than transcending, they just go ahead and just die because transcending is worse than death. And you see that they turn into these monsters and stuff like the one I'm fighting here and stuff like that. And I thought it was really, um... It was really cool, you know, just learning more about the lore of the world and stuff like that. I will say that it, this um this world that they're in, I feel like it was I don't know if necessarily because just the what the what was going on with the terror and stuff, but it was very like samey. Like I don't know, like the environment was just really samey. It didn't really there wasn't really much um like variety, I guess, in the world. It was just like castle or inside castle or like frozen wasteland slums like that and then right here is like the little broken pieces of the monastery that they eventually ended up getting to where the terror was at but um outside of that i mean i didn't really have that much that many issues with it the combat was really nice um i mean i really wish i was able to use more weapons but i really just like the sword and her like axe hammer combo and sometimes i use a little fist thing too just depends on the enemies and i will say the enemy variety in this game is really good because it did start off really slow it was really just a bunch of like grunts and then you had like one brute guy that had like a sword but once it started introducing like the um the reapers and their different abilities and then you started mixing in loots abilities of switching like the little force field and stuff like that it really got more entertaining to do some of these fights even though some of those enemies were really annoying to deal with like the um Mainly the flying ones or like the blue one that like shoots electricity. Like I couldn't, I hate it fighting that thing. It was just such a pain in the ass. But outside of that, it was really cool. Like just, you know, chaining together. Like the, I feel like the hits have a lot of impact to them, especially when you use like that axe that I'm using right here in the gameplay. It just it really has a sense of weight and impact whenever you hit anything and stuff like that. But I will say, um, yeah, everything else I liked about it a lot. Um, you know, graphics were really nice. You know, I'm playing this on my PC, so 
I can adjust the settings wherever I see wherever I see fit. I just have to make sure that as I'm recording it, it you know, it looks fine for you guys on the back end. But um, it was really cool. You know, it was a really cool experience. I brought this game. Jeez, I brought this game months ago, but it was before I started my channel. But I never really was able to click on it, like really not click on it, but like click with it until after I started the channel. And I was just thinking like, hey, well, you know, I finished Bayonetta and metroid dread and ty so what was going to be next so i was like okay well we can um we can just go ahead and start solstice maybe i got the game right here we can get into it eventually after um after all of those playthroughs are done so that's why i ended up deciding to do the playthrough process was fairly simple i mean whenever i have to record pc gameplay is really honestly easy all i have to do is just open up obs and go in and record and stuff like that and with this game Everything was pretty much straightforward. I just plug play, keep it moving. There were times where the controller died and it messed things up, but I was able to fix that. And you don't really see that in the playthroughs because I edited it all out. So that way you didn't have to see me fiddling around with the control screen, looking at a pause screen. I said that the controller is disconnected. So I didn't worry too much about that. But um, yeah, this game was really cool. I do hope they make a sequel because when you guys see this is the... When you guys see this part, well, I'm recording this. When I'm recording this um, reflection, it was before the part, the last part, um, was uploaded onto the channel. So, when you guys do inevitably see this and you see the ending and stuff like that, um, it's really interesting. They is, I wouldn't necessarily say they won. They stopped. The, they did stop the tear in air quotes, even though I don't want to get into it. But they didn't. They didn't necessarily win. They didn't beat. Uh, the guy, Lord Dougal, whatever his name was. Um, his plan still technically can happen, and from what it seems, it will happen. They just don't know when and where. But I don't want to get too deep into it because you'll eventually see what ends up happening and what happens after the final fight. Because this is not the final fight. It's the fight before the final fight. Um, so, yeah, I would say that this game is, I would definitely recommend it if you're really into, like, action, you know, action RPG games, hack and slash games like Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, in some ways the new Guard of War games, stuff like that. I think it would be, um, it'd be a really cool experience for you guys, but, uh, all in all, I'll say this is probably, probably one of my favorite walkthroughs I've done so far, maybe behind Metroid Dread, because Metroid Dread was kind of fun just going through and, you know, exploring exploring that area and stuff like this but this game is more up my alley than metroid dread because i actually like action games a little bit more so yeah i hope you guys really did enjoy the playthrough it was really fun and um i hope that i can get into more action games in the future i'm trying to see what i can get into next because i'm not sure what other action games i have that i haven't played yet i don't really have many so we'll see where we'll go from there but um if you guys like the video make sure to like and subscribe comment whatever you thought about the playthrough in the you know comment section let me know what you guys think and um as always make sure you keep it gaming i'll see you guys later take care